वेलकाम टू आवर अनलैन इंगलिस क्लस दिस इज चंद्रशेखर शिकदार लेक्चर अब इंगलिस ढाका शिक्षा बोर्ड लैबरेटर स्कूल एंड कलेज डियर स्टूडेंट्स डोन्ट फील नार्भास बिकज आई एम अलओज उद यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स उइ हाव बीन डिटास्ड फर ए लंग टाइम बिकज अफ करोना भाइर और कोड नाइनटीन पैंडेमिक हुई क्रिएट्स हेल्थ क्राइसिस थ्रु आउट द वर्ल्ड इनफैक्ट This is the greatest challenge we have faced after the world wars. Dear students, before starting our class, I would like to play a game with you. Are you ready? Okay. It's one kind of puzzle or riddle for you. I mean, I will first of all I will show you some pictures and then you will try to guess what kind of picture is it or where is it situated? Okay, so let me show you the picture. Yes, this is a very beautiful picture. Try to guess whether it is a picture. It is a picture of a uh, of an ocean, or a lake, or a river. Can you say? Oh yes, you. Yes, you say lake. Right, it's a picture of a lake. Now the second puzzle. Is it the picture of Saint Martin Island, or Inanibis, or the beautiful Fox's Bazaar? Can you say? Oh yes, Saint Martin Island. Oh, right, you are correct. It is. This is a picture of. Saint Martin Island, and now the last puzzle for you. Wow, how does it look? It looks really awesome. Can you guess where is it situated? Mm, perhaps you may not guess. Okay, I'll tell you where is it situated. But tell me frankly, do you wish to go there? Oh yes, you wish to go there. When during holidays, right? We wish to visit such wonderful place during holidays. Okay. And now tell me, why do we wish to go such type of places to get some pleasure? I mean, living in this tiresome and boring life in city, sometimes we want to feel fresh, and then we want to go. to nature okay because going to nature or coming in close contact with nature we can get some peace okay now i'll tell you i'm going to tell you the name of this place is the lake isle of inisfree it is situated in ireland okay and you know in english literature there is a famous poet name w b yeats who wrote a poem about this place and the name of that wonderful poem is the lake isle of inisfree so our today's topic is the lake isle of inisfree and you will get it in your textbook page number 146 the i mean unit 12 lesson 1 but if you have a copy of new edition you will get it in unit 10 lesson 1 okay uh, by the end of the lesson students will be able to tell the biography of the poet recite the poem correctly comprehend the native speaker's intonation ask and answer questions infer meaning from the context and they will be able to write down the summary or the theme of the poem okay dear students now let me tell you about the biography of the poet which is very very important and you should know it to understand the motive of the writer or the poet okay now let me tell you the biography of w b yeats w b yeats 
He was born in 13 June 1865 and died in 28 January 1939. He is an Irish poet. He is considered the 20th century poet. He got Nobel Prize in 1923 and the major theme of his writings indicate his yearning for love and peace and these are his important works Byzantium, The Second Coming, The Tower, The Winding Stair, Easter 1960, The Rose When You Are Old. Here one thing I should say that W.B. Yeats in his early writings showed his yearning for love and peace. He found in nature a refuge or shelter from the ugliness of city life and this conception uh, this uh, this ideology this concept has been vividly expressed in his poem the lake i love in his free because the lake i love in his free promises him a sort of mental peace now dear students Let's listen to the recitation of the poem. The Lake Isle of Innisfree by William Butler Yeats. I will arise and go now, and go to Innisfree. And a small cabin built there of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honeybee and live alone in the bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings. There midnights all a glimmer, and moon a purple glow, and evening full of the linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always night and day, I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's gray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. Okay, dear students, now I shall discuss each line of the poem in detail so that you can understand the meaning of his sentences. Okay? I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree and a small cabin built there of clay and water made. Nine bean rows will I have there a hive for the honeybee and live alone in the bee loud glade. Okay? The poet waking up from the very early and from very early in the morning he wishes to go to Inistri and going there he will build a small cabin made of mud and wattle. I'll tell you the meaning of the words that are uh, in red color okay and he will also cultivate nine bean rows and he wish to get a uh, hive for honeybee and he will live there alone and wants to hear the melodious sound of the bee. Next, and I shall have some peace there for peace comes dropping slow. The poet expects to get peace and because peace comes with natural gifts one after another and these are dropping from haze of the morning to where the cricket sings. There midnights all a glimmer and noon a purple glow and evening full of linnets wing. Okay, in the morning the poet will hear the sweet song of the cricket, a kind of insect and at midnight the moon will shine, moon will shine 
and at noon a purple uh, the purple color will spread throughout the horizon and in the evening the place will be full of linnet linnet is a kind of small european bird and here one very interesting thing is that this same idea has been reflected in another poem i have seen bengal's face in your textbook written by jivanand dash in bangla bangla mukh ami dekhi ase in that poem jivanand dash also expresses uh, the same concept and he also gives vivid description of nature and he also mentioned a uh, uh, mentioned a small bird that is swallow roosting under huge umbrella like leaves and in lekai lo vinespri w b yeats mention the name of a bird linnet and here you see swallow jivanand dash that means magpie or in bangla dwel so we find a great similarity between the two poets in their respective poems and the last four lines i will arise and go now for always night and day i hear lake water lapping with a low sound by the shore while i stand on the roadway or on the pavement way i hear it in the deep heart score the poet wish to go there every day and every night and now you see the poet is in the city he is working alone on the street but in his imagination he can still hear the the melodious or the sweet tone of the uh, lake water okay and this is a wonderful comparison the same idea or the same conception uh, has been expressed in another poem i wandered lonely as a cloud by william wordsworth in he, in that poem what it says for often when on my toes in a vacant or pensive mood the flash of that inward my heart with pleasure fills and danced with the daffodils that means once uh, what you are visited a host of golden daffodils the magnificent scenery of the wonderful daffodils uh, fills her heart Uh, with joy and uh, when uh, and coming back to the place uh, what you are uh, when he is in a pensive mood when he is in a when he is in tension and anxiety he just closes his eyes and in his imagination he can visualize the beautiful picture of the dancing daffodils and as soon as he can remember the wonderful scenery his heart feels with joy so the same conception the same concept has been vividly described by these two poet william wordsworth and w b yeats in fact uh, through these poems uh, these two poets wants to say that nature has a healing power nature can mitigate our tension and anxiety Okay, now let's be familiarized with some new words. First one, water. You see the picture. Water means plants and shrubs, commonly known as water, especially in Australia and South Africa. Then glade. Glade means a grassy open space in a forest. Then glimmer. glimmer means to shine faintly or unsteadily linnet a small european bird veils a piece of cloth usually worn by women over the head and shoulders and sometimes over the face then lapping lapping means brim over or the gentle sound of water then cricket a small jumping insect that produces short loud sounds by wings together 
now dear students i shall talk about a very important uh, term that is literary term known as literary term because uh, if you study literature especially english literature you will find this term frequently okay now literary term uh, what uh, now the question arises what is literary term and <clears throat> yes literary terms refers to the technique or style okay and or you can say it is a powerful figurative speech that the writer or the poet uses to arise emotion or feelings in the mind of the reader so that they can see the world in a new and magical way okay so in this poem the lake i love inishri the poet uses a very powerful literary term that is image or images okay image means picture in words it is a replica produced in the mind of the reader by sense perception what is that for example if i say a word or if i say black cat you just close your eyes and think in your imagination you will see a black cat okay this is called images and imagine the collective use of images okay now the most important thing uh, that is writing theme because in the examination you have to write the summary or the theme of the poem now taking into consideration all the all the things that i have discussed earlier you have to write the theme now i am writing a theme of this poem you see urban life with the manifestation of its atrocities and artificialities often becomes unbearable the mechanized city life fails to give peace of mind and as such the poet grows eager to go in contact with beauties and bounties of nature of the rural areas the poet longs for living in the lap of nature in a rural setting this is the theme of this poem but don't consider this is the only answer or only theme of this poem you can write it in your own way okay in fact the most important thing is that we are living in the city life and sometimes we feel bored or sometimes we become tensed so we want to get rid of this chaotic environment and then we wish to go to uh, we wish to visit natural site okay because nature has the power to uh, to mitigate our tension and anxieties okay nature uh, has a healing power what wordsworth in his poem tintern abbey mentioned uh, and uh, he advises his sister dorothy dorothy nature never did betray those who loved her so these very ideas has been vivid and ideas have been vividly expressed in the poem the lake i love in history by william butler yes so this is all Uh, thank you very much i uh, hope to see you in the next class bye